Does one set of the candles lead us the correct way and the other one's not? Ooh, this oh, this oh. up. Oh, oh, so what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here. Oh, oh, welcome back to 3D Random Games. The freak was that intro? Welcome back though guys to another episode of Three Random Games. It is that game series where we play three random games from the internet all within the confinements of this singular video. Today I have three very bizarre games to check out, so I say we go ahead and get to it. The first game is called Do Not Take Your Eyes Away From The Red Fridge, and that's literally everything we got. I don't want to assume anything, but I had to check this game out because I think it's literally a fridge horror game. <clears throat> yeah. Also smash like if you enjoy. All right guys, let's go ahead and do- Wait. Oh! Oh! Hello? Hey, are you good? <laughs> what the freak? I have a haunted fridge. What's happening? Wait, wait, hey, hey! Why don't we start falling asleep? Did you see that? Look, if I don't, guys, look, my hands are off. Oh, no, buddy. You don't want to fall asleep. And if we look away... Ooh, he gets mad. Hold up, there's things around here, too. Uh, whoa, 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 hey! It's a haunted fridge. It's been nine hours. The fridge is not responding. I will definitely figure out how to help Lori. Okay, shut the freak up. Mr. Fridge likes at least some. What the freak is that? Is that my hand? It's me. Look, I'm there. You see the window's going too. What about this one here? Let me see. Do not take your eyes away from the red fridge. We figured that one already. I know your weak spot. The eye? Look, let me not look a second, guys. Let me see if I can find something else. Um, oh, I can't turn this. There is a demon in the fridge. It's actually getting closer. Guys, hold up. One of these must be the answer. It must be. You stay there. There's a doll right here. Look, guys. Look at this. Little princess. And then... Daddy. Guys, is this game beatable? I don't get what's happening right here. Guys, this is freaking me out. I don't get it. He wants me to look at it. So what about if I look away again? Hold up. What's in here? There must be a way to defeat the fridge, right? Shut the freak up, man. I'm busy. I turn away. Uh, wait, what about the letter here? We can take this. Wait, can we? Hold up. Guys, I don't understand what's happening. It's just... Look, let me look away, guys. I don't get this. The fridge is evil, bro. Oh, wait, in here. Wait, there's something in there. Hold up, what's this? What's this? What's this? There's a letter. What am I doing? They're fridge magnets. Maybe we have to find them all. Hold up. I think we're at a bad start right now, guys. There's one behind it. I see it. I see it. I see it. How do I get rid of this, though? I just want to be friends. Yeah, I know you do. Hold on. I'm not looking away. I don't get what's happening, guys. This game's weird. So, I have an evil fridge in my basement. Let's get close. Oh. Oh, it's real close. Oh. oh my god! I just got flat packed to my fridge! Can you beat this game? If you hold down, you can click. Boom! How do you like that, huh? How do you like that? Guys, we gotta move this, move this. Yeah, shut up, dude. We got this, okay? Click and drag. Here we go. We got it. Bang! Again, we got another one. Now, there was something under here. We can move them! Okay, get the R, get the R. Yes! We're spelling fridge, I think? Let me get rid of that. I knew there was something more to this game. Okay, so we gotta do this together, guys. Get that out of the way. Around here, we can find something. A few more letters, but we are gonna get this. Oh, shut up, dude. I don't even care right now. One more here. What is this? An E. Move that. Okay, underneath the paper. So let's discard this as far away as we can. Get rid of that. Okay, maybe it's near the doll or something like that. Look how far back you are, dude. Stop talking. You've already lost this game. Clear that, clear that. Come on. What else can we do around here? We're running out of ideas now, guys. Maybe we gotta do this. Wait, underneath my feet. Jay, I got you. I got you. Okay, give me that. Give me that. Okay, slide on. Effridge. Did we win? We need a D. All we need is the, the letter D and we've won, guys. Okay, get rid of that. Where might it be? Okay, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look. Ooh, we'll be around here somewhere. It's way too close. We're dead. Move that side. I literally... What about the doll underneath it, maybe? Where is it? All we need is the letter D, and we've won. Oh, boy. Look into my feet, maybe? There. I can see it moving. Stop moving. Stop moving. There. I see it. I see it. I got it. I got it. I've won. Take it. Yes. Slam it on it. Oh, yes. What? What's happening? We've freed it. The fridge is no more. We've beat it. That's how you, that's how you do a fridge horror game, guys. 
Now, the second game we find ourselves at is called Paranormal Entities. It looks like we've got a bit of a synopsis, so let's take a read. <clears throat> Mike comes in for this, of course. You are Cliff, a college student who is a brand new freelance cameraman for the show Paranormal Entities. The second most rated ghost investigation show on the hunting and outdoor wow. cable network. You have been hired to inspect the St. Augustine Asylum for the Mentally Ill. You will go into this facility, follow the producer's instructions through the radio earpiece, keep your camera on, and try to make contact with the spirits inside. If nothing happens, you will get $500 for your time. If you manage to get some amazing footage of real paranormal activity on your camera what what happens what happens if I do it guys I guess that part hasn't been decided yet are we starting the game uh yeah five hundred dollars for doing potentially nothing I'm in here we All go all right Clint uh, Cliff 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 Clint. Cliff welcome <laughs> to the St. Oh. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill great the producer Tom said good things about you Ooh. in your Didn't backpack know. is a flashlight a voice recorder an EMF mm -hmm. and a couple of little fun occult things all right, we'll fun a cold, bro. Out. Don't use that Ready description. Ready to some of those college debts and <laughs> debts? Well, of course you are. Let's and do when it. You're ready. Enter in through those front doors. Okay, ah. let's do it. I think this has some slight, like, comedic feels to it, guys. Here we go, guys. Oh no! Nice. The door was unlocked. We're in. Ah, it can get a little tricky sometimes. Can so sometimes. Here's a story. Okay. St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. Oh, this is a backstory, story, guys. Eighties closed in the 1960s, and a lot of nasty stuff happened here. I mean, oh, this man, place really? is only supposed to house around 500 patients, but at its peak, it was around 3,300 patients in here. 300? I mean, this place was, you know, less of a hospital and more of a place where you dropped your problems off and hope they disappeared. Wow, dude. What a bad description. That's gross. Guys, you might notice me having to do with 360. The game has no cursor lock, so my, my cursor is like on this screen sometimes. Click this one. Oh, these doors open. Uh, how do I close doors? I can't close doors in this game. Let me click on the Bible here, guys. What's this? Hold up. In the end, this place was sort of against what the Bible's supposed to teach. I mean, okay. there's no love here, no grace, no healing. The patients Aww. were not here to be rehabilitated. That's sad. Ordinary people just wanted like to be gone for public. They shoved those with non-threatening mental conditions or those deemed inappropriate to society together with a hundred hallways. Hey, how are you talking of over over yourself? Violent <laughs> <that's the patient laughs> guys, I ain't got a big enough brain to listen to both of these at the same time, okay? Down. Okay, now he won't talk over himself. This is where the hundred hall where the patients would convene. And we okay. heard that the patients pre-1920 actually received decent care. Good then stuff, the war hit, nice for them. The depression hit, and then the budgets all fell apart. The room okay. you stand in once healed 20 patients in need of attention. And 20. At the end, 150 patients would pass through this room. What well, thing here at the same time, bro? Attacking each other at random, Dang. playing themselves with metal wires from Ooh. their beds. Dang, that's horrible. Be careful where you like that. I will be. If we go that way, guys, we got the morgue, the surgical rooms, or the pharmacy, so we know which way we don't go. Hold up, there's a spinny arrow in the middle. Should we go there? Let's stand here. All right, this is a good go. place to start. I want you to take out We're your voice recorder, and I'll hopefully be able to awaken this place. Oh, gosh. Okay, oh. spirits of St. Augustine, please reveal your presence to us. Look around, look Show around. Show us that you are in this room. I don't see him. free to interact with anything Man. or speak to us. Use this your is some words, bullcrap. Your voice Have you put like string on this here. dude? I see nothing, guys. Okay, play that back. What's there? Oh, we might heard know something. You're here. Listen. No one spoke. No uh, one gives a crap. All right, let's no. try it again. That was a waste of time. That was absolutely pointless. You've wasted my time. Now he wants us to stand here. Okay, let's go ahead and do it, guys. Right, we'll stand right, just where he wants it. us to. Okay. Ghosts of St. Augustine. Yep. Please let us know that you are still in this hospital. Let's see. I give you permission to reveal yourself. Bro, I they don't give need permission, you permission with the angle. to come to life. Just give see. us a sign that you're here. Well. Tell us where you are. Speak to us now into this microphone. The only thing dead in this place, guys, is the lack of stuff going right, on, you know? That. It's gonna be nothing. Well, listen, though, guys. Alright, let's try one more spot. Ooh. Bro, can I just leave? I'd rather just get no money and leave. This is a waste of my evening. Literally, I could have been doing anything else I wanted tonight, but instead, this is what I'm doing, guys. It's Go not gonna work. To St. Augustine. You're all a bunch of ghoulish pricks. Oh! Show up or piss off. Whoa! Hey! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey! Woo! We got that on camera, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you hear that? No, I saw that! Play that back. Play that back. Let's go. Listen, guys. Hold pricks. on. Pricks. Show up <laughs> or piss off. Is that it? Wait. That don't sound like it's on the recording. Uh, oh, this oh, is a oh, 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 
Dude! All right, all right. Wait, wait, yeah, you can laugh. I can't. All right. Once you <laughs> go down the morgue hallway, oh and no, we're gonna continue our investigation in the other gathering area. After seeing that, he wants me to go to the morgue, guys. I'm not getting out of this place. All right, you do a seance, you get nothing. You insult a ghost, you get everything. Ghost hunting tips 101. You guys know what to do if you want to capture a ghost, okay? Uh, let's make our way okay, down here. four areas you need to visit to fulfill your contract. The okay. East Social oh. area is the first on the list. Okay. This is the area where the inmates who are deemed a danger to society would convene. Okay. You'll go to this room and perform a summoning ceremony. A summoning so ceremony? The center and we will begin. So go to the center of the room, and then basically I'm dead. That's what I got from that. Here we go, guys. Oh, this room has been cleared out. Look, the center space is just ripe for the picking, huh? We'll check some of the doors, I suppose, in the meantime. There's no marker, so perhaps it's what we can do. That one's also locked up. I'm noticing a trend already. Now, will this one open? This is the, the patient. entrance to patient cells 200 through 219. Okay. We're talking extreme bipolarism, schizophrenia, dementia. Like, this is some not necessarily dangerous, crazy terms, but dude. it could be a challenge for society. Damn, okay. Door's locked. It is. That sucks. So what are we doing then? You want to help me out here? This is the entrance to the He's patient beeping. cells 220 to 240. This what are you is where talking they about? The lunatics, the this one here? The sociopaths. The worst I of the think, worst. No, that's not right. Clive the Peeper Johnson. Don't know who that is. You think he would be a pervert with see. a nickname the Peeper, but the truth is far worse. Okay, so I want to hear it. Manipulative and very intelligent. He oh, was a man. murderer and a memer. Most of his victims could never identify him because he managed to convince them to gouge their own okay. eyes out with metal wires and even what? their own fingernails. Oh he my came gosh! Came here to the legal loopholes, and when the facility went off the rails and the doctor uh -huh. stopped caring, he yeah. took the action. The patients who didn't listen were tortured, and the ones who did wandered around the facility, wow. blind, screaming, and in constant fear. Wow! The doors man. locked too. They're all let's just start the ceremony. We're doing it in here then, so like we don't go to the place where we should do the ceremony. The guy's just like, let's just cut this and go here. Clive, stay stay quiet tonight, please, okay? Just relax. I ain't talking to you, okay, Clive? Oh! This, asylum, this is bad. We know that you're here. This is bad! We release you from your restraints. Oh, God. Come forward and live again. Oh! This person is no longer shielded oh, from oh, the realm of the oh, dead. Oh, my God! You may be seen. Interact and manipulate him in any way as you see. Oh my god, the ceremony! Oh my god. Dude, I got the footage. Let me out. Let me out. I got the footage. Okay, I did the dare. I'm done. Oh. I did a full 360. Guys, guys, I don't know what I'm doing. I, oh, that opened. Just stand there. Go, go check okay. it out. Yeah, 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 bro. Let's go, guys. I don't like this. The ambience changed. I'm dead. I am literally about to be someone's dinner. Locked. Okay, locked. Good. Both good. Locked as well, good. Good news, locked as well. Ah! This game's actually getting kind of freaky, guys. I'm not even kidding. You know what? How about we don't check any doors? How about if a ghost is waiting behind one to jump scare us, we don't give it the chance? I actually like that idea much more, and I've just walked to the way back of myself. I'm that scared. Ah! <laughs> I was just about to be polite and say hello. Now I have regrets. Wait. Oh, no. The one at the... Nope. No, you're scratching your booty cheeks. I ain't going in there. You gotta touch me with those hands and I'm gonna get like... All I'm saying is, guys, I'm gonna end up having more than a crappy experience, okay? Uh, lady. Toilet paper is down the end of the aisle. Don't wipe your hands on my face. Hello, lady. Good evening. Hello. Ah! Ah! Guys, I'm actually getting freaked out. This game is actually... Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. I'm strafing. I'm strafing, guys. I'm moving quicker by strafing. All right. Get out of this hallway. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Take, a, take your second right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Second right. Second right. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Second right. Where's second right? Where am I going? Hello? Where's, where's second right? So, first right. This is the second, okay? I'm going for it. I don't care. I don't like this game. Doors locked. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, okay. okay. There's, okay. A, there's a staircase. Oh, take stair the staircase up to the second case. floor. Okay. And you should uh, be directory. next to a uh, fire escape. Tell me. You should be able to get out that way. So, okay. go up the staircase. Directory. Staircase. I don't know where I'm going. I think it's here, guys. Okay. Staircase to floor two. Yep. This is it. I will jump off of floor two and land and run from this place. Listen, you better be paying me like, add a, add a couple of zeros on the end, you know? Uh, okay, why is that locked? You said if I come upstairs, I go home. Why is this locked? Yeah, I want three zeros added to the end. Uh, okay, we need to, let's go get something to pry this door open. Go back downstairs. I, I bet you there was something oh, downstairs we could probably use. My hold God. On, hold on. That staircase Please. wasn't there before. 
I didn't think it was. It doesn't even have a basement. What, the, Wait, what? What? What is going on? Why is this looping? All right, all right, just. I can't leave. I don't think you got any other choice. I think you gotta make your way downstairs. So keep going down. Oh, this staircase just built up under my very feet, guys. I am gonna die real soon. That's not us chanting that. That ain't us chanting that. Also, I gotta walk down the stairs like this, guys. Otherwise, the game just breaks up. So there's different floors here. See, we see you. I don't see you. Um, can we please just make it more fair? Let me see you. Actually, don't. Don't, 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 don't. Directory. Oh, we're at the ground floor now, guys. Surgery. It wants us to go in the surgery. Oh, you pre-prepared this one for me, didn't you? Huh? What are we doing here, guys? We gotta do what they want. Follow the candles all the way to the very end. Neatly lit. What is that, bro? Calm down in there. You had too much coffee this morning. I'm done. I'm done, guys. I'm done. We gotta go to the very end here. It's about the lady, isn't it? We open the door. Wait. There's no lady. What is happening? We're being looped again. Should we do it? Let's go. Open the door. Why don't I lock? Wait, what? I'm gonna try and go back. This didn't really lead anywhere. That door was already open before, wasn't it? Unless. Has this changed up? I feel like it has. Let me open the door. Uh, maybe it's changed? It's hard to know. Does one set of the candles lead us the correct way and the other one's not? Ooh, this oh ah! I'm turtle heading. Don't Google that. Don't Google that, guys. Don't Google that. Let me just, like, clarify by saying before game number three, I gotta go to the bathroom, okay? Don't do this to me anymore! This is genuinely scary. Like, for real, guys, I'm actually getting scared by this. Doesn't open. Doesn't open. Doesn't open. Why not? What? Hold up. Open. Open. Hello? Open. Hello? Open. Guys, I think the game is bugged out. Like, it's locked me in this zone. There's four doors. You had me. I'm gonna give you that. You had me for a long time. No eyes. Didn't see. That door don't open. Don't get me. Don't do it. Don't do it. What? 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 Why did I click? Okay. Let me out. Let me out. Guys, I don't like this at all. I don't. Don't, don't see. No eyes. What? Look down. I don't know what it wants me to do. It's like it keeps randomly like working. So don't see. Maybe don't look behind me at the the mess. If we don't. Did that change? I'm gonna look away. Wait. Can I poke you in the head? I can't. I can't. Can I leave? Don't do this. I can't leave, guys. I can't leave. Literally, I have this on my ceiling. Spiders have evolved. I'm gonna walk under her. Ah! I can't see anything, guys. We're back. Uh, we can go through that way. Look at this. It's talking about eyes everywhere, like surgical removal of them. Let's uh, let's go on through. Dang, this is a scary horror game. This is actually freaking me out a lot. That door opens to check this one here. It's locked up. Got some light sources there. Let's go on through, man. We got like the uh, the main office. All right, confession time. Uh, go for it. It's about the eyes. I let's do that. Head this from you. Okay. There's an urban legend, and, and I, I repeat, it's an urban go. legend about the peeper Clive Johnson. Now he tells us. There was a patient who suffered from dementia and swore okay. that Clive was more than just a mere man. And, all right. And uh, he would kind of haunt this patient all throughout the day, you know, rambling okay. hallucinations. Now he spills the beans, bro, you know, but like... at night, he never saw the peeper. Then he discovered that if he closed his eyes, he okay. could escape Clive. But whenever he opened them... Clive would be there, waiting for him, and getting closer and closer. Is that why people remove the eyes? Eventually, the patient used a fork, and he blinded himself. Uh, and yeah, two eyeballs like right that, coming around. Right blood out. from his sockets, he screamed to the entire hospital that he was free. He was safe. Wow. And a week later, two more patients Dang. charged Clive with stalking them, even though he was confined oh my God. solitary. I mean, it's crazy. They, they took their eyesights, too. Wow. The pattern didn't stop. See the I trend, guys? BS, See the trend? Based on what we've seen Dang, tonight, what the freak is that? I don't pretty Ew. much believe anything. So, I'm trying to get the hell out of there, and if it gets yep. too intense, try to shut your eyes. Got it. How do I shut my eyes? What button do I have? Where's my eyes shut button? Guys, I have no eyes shut button. I'm leaving. I'm gonna die, dude. I'm so done. Clive? Listen, man. <laughs> Me and you, Damn people. flashlight broke. Okay. I can't use that anymore. What? Dude, did you hear that? I don't want to put- no, 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 I ain't getting close to that. That is gonna jump scare me. Oh, God. Come closer. 
No, go to it, go to it. Where am I going? Oh. Okay! Ah! I got it! But where do I go? I'm running away. Okay, it's to Dude, if you literally strafe, you go quicker. Strafe, treasure. Why am I looping? Don't look back, 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 don't look back. Oh, he's coming! Oh, he's coming. There's people in here. Oh, there was at least. Shut the fuck up! No, I ain't about to become one of you! Let's go, guys, let's go, let's go. Keep going, keep going. Strafe, strafe, strafe. Yes! Open! These doors open way too slow, man. I don't see him, I don't see him. Strafe, strafe. Oh, come on. Go, go! Oh, I don't see him at all. I really don't. Please let this be the last one. What the freak is that? If there's a scalpel in there, I don't do it. Nope. I knew it! I knew it! I knew that'd do this. Crap! Oh my god. You got a choice. Okay. Either he gets you, or you're, you're gonna have to cut him out. Okay. Dude, I ain't taking this! I will not do this! My camera will be my eyes, bro. Okay, look. I'm going through with this. You want to scare me, do you? Huh? I ain't gonna do it! Man, no. Make your decision now. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. I won't lose my eyes. No way. Look how slow you are. You are slow. And I'm blind anyway. I think I'm blind anyway. Well, that was squelchy. Holy crap. I can't believe it. Can't believe what? That was the most disturbing, terrifying, and greatest paranormal footage that has ever been taken in the history of television. Oh my god. Wow. We are going to win an Emmy. <laughs> might be on Dude. talk shows, paranormal entities. Movies, You're talking to my corpse. Freaking coffee mugs and kid shows. Holy crap. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Him? Him? <laughs> I'm not going in there. Are you going to go in there? I'm not going in there. Hell no, 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 no. Literally I mean, speaking about the corpse. I don't even know where he is in that hospital. The camera's black. He's not responding. I don't see anything. Do you? No. No, no. We're getting out of here. And uh, okay. anyways, another crazy thing about this. He needs to collect his money, too. And I don't think he's going to be coming here anytime soon. So so we, we basically got all this footage for free. He's still so going. Let's just start the man up. Let's get yeah. the hell on out of here. We've been in here for, I don't know, a couple hours. Just Clive, a little bit too long. Go greet him. Whatever your name was. Go take their eyes out. And my very wealthy friend, you. How long is he going for? Starting to stink. All right, I'm going to do it. Whoa. whoa. Oh, hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Go on, you know what to do. Did you, did you hear that? Shh, listen, listen. Shh, guys, be quiet. Shh, shh. Oh, that was outside the truck. That was outside the truck, right? Yeah, up. you didn't get moving quick enough. Listen. <laughs> Still waiting. See you now. They're dead. Ah. They're gone. Next gone. Snapped up next. Snapped up next. Oh, that was really fun, actually. Dang, that was terrifying. The jump scares got me, like, every single time. Thank you for playing. Leave a review. Uh, my name is A.I. Heck, and I made this game in 10 days. He made this game in 10 days. Okay, that is very impressive. Like, that game right there had better use of jump scares and timing than legit most games that you see on itch. So this was actually a gem, and I'm glad I played this one. Guys, we never got our $500, but what we did get instead was a good game, okay? At least to the one playing is Cliff. Maybe not for Cliff himself, but uh, okay, game number three. <laughs> Now, for this third game, I wanted to actually take it back a little bit, guys. It has been a long time in a Theranum Games episode where we don't just play nothing but horror games. This is a game called Cloud Climber. Uh, it's got a very interesting premise. It's about, like, all the water evaporated on planet Earth, so we had to build up high to get to the clouds where the water was. And this is where it takes place. This might be a lot more of a chill experience than what you guys expect. Another day. I wanted to see. Arrived. Okay. Let's do it. I you had the best get my water before going to work. Ooh. Do we have any? It's like Bendy and the Ink Machine style, you know? I didn't even see this. So we'll take that. Let's take a look. Okay, we got the bucket of water. Let's uh, take a read of the note here as well. Stand Diary, page 1489. I may need to get to the neighboring tower in the future, but I know the other builders keep the entrance to the bridge locked. I saw a key on the table at the top of our tower a few weeks ago before I went to get more building supplies. I haven't been up there in a few days, so I'll need to check if it unlocks the bridge door. If the other towers ever become vacant, I might need to get across, so I'll have to keep this in mind. Interesting. Let's go ahead and open the door. Oh, yes! Construction on the last Dang. tower stopped weeks ago. Why? Huh? I can only assume that the builders have met their fate by now. Uh, well that's a yikes moment. I believe it's safe enough for me to go and continue building higher yet from where they left off. Okay. So is that I a plan then? I travel across the other two towers to get there, but I'm sure okay. I can find a way. 
Aha! Look at this. So, I guess we gotta build across. Uh, this is the main tower. You see, like, dotted around in the distance. There's other towers. There's one over there. So, these people aren't the only ones here. It's like uh, a civilization almost have uh, kind of made themselves home. Also, there's a note in there. Let's take a read. Bernie and the Great Terrible Diary, page 69. For months, we've been building faster than ever, yet it seems as if every time we complete a new level, the clouds raise higher and higher. I could have sworn we were close to them decades ago, but we're still not done yet. I can only hope that we're getting close. Signed, Bernie the Great and Terrible. Okay, well, I do wonder what happened, guys. Ooh, the wind is very blistery up here. Joe's Diary, 420. I've been building all day long, and Bernie the Great and Terrible has been sitting on his butt asking his foreman. AKA, he doesn't do any work and drinks all our water. I've started locking my water chest just in case he really does think he's above us all. I guess we must have followed suit. You see us locking up the chest too? How about inside here? Oh, it does open. I didn't think that was going to open for a second. Building supplies, and that's pretty much it. Now, nah, but listen, we're not doing that building stuff, okay? We are trying to get up and out of this place. So we got to make our way to the second bridge. Let me try and open this door. Okay, that one's not opening. Oh, look at this, though. It leads there. Let's go up a few more flights, guys. Maybe we'll find the key up here somewhere. Looks like that might be sitting on the table there. So, oh, young that. thank you very much. This is just an interesting concept for a game. Like, very post-apocalyptic. Feels weird. Let's take a read. So, Edna Diary, page 36. I can't believe today is our 100th anniversary of our tower. I know others have been building much longer, and now I wish our grandparents had taken this whole thing more seriously. 100 years ago, they decided things were getting dangerous, but why didn't they see the problem 200 years ago or even longer? I'm glad that they started building, but I just wish that we'd seen this coming. So it's, it's uh, kind of like a natural disaster. Some time since I was on the second tower. Yep. And we're making it there right now. Across this bridge since the builders became greedy and took the supplies that were meant to come to our tower. Oh wow, you see that? Just like all like the factions. other towers, its inhabitants right quickly grew desperate and aggressive. What happened? I guess I knew this day would come, but I didn't expect it to come this soon. Yesterday, we started extreme rationing of our water. A few days back, we stopped getting supplies from the ground crew on our lift. We can only assume that they've stolen the supplies for themselves, ran out of water and food resources, or simply died. If we don't get into the clouds soon, we might need to see if we can get someone from the neighboring towers. So they started becoming desperate because there was no water, and the water is what survival is all about here. Now, I don't think we can pull this back just yet, so let me continually walk up here, guys. It's like a uh, main lookout. Point. This is where their building got them to. Ooh, maybe it's nothing more than a lookout point for now. Well, skip this. What am I doing? I'm going over to Tower 1, bro. That's what this whole game's about. Oh, they installed a wench right here. Okay. Ooh, we're bringing it back. We bring in this good stuff back. Now, we don't have anyone to actually help with this, so we're just going to hope this thing sails the moment we stand on it. Let's go. Just, oh, yes. Our body weight will do enough, guys. Look at this, too. Could almost All the way down. This place beautiful if these dust storms weren't so suffocating. It's just dust? Wow. It's like the world has gone to crap down below, guys. You don't even want to see what planet Earth looks like. It's a wonder these people have survived so long. And built towers that are still standing this way. You know? Fourth tower. We'll see. We've made it all this way for this, so if you didn't, it really would be a shame. You know what? We're going up here, guys. We're getting this done. Here we are. This is the bridge that we wanted to cross, right? All right, we'll take these here, guys, so we can take the planks. We can view them in the inventory, too. We've got everything we need. We'll place these, and we are going across this. Let's go. Place these. Uh, yep, there you go. Look at that. Perfect, man. Stack of planks was used. Oh, I know. I believe that I'm the last one here. The final survivor. I never thought it would end like this. You don't know if the other towers are empty, though. I wonder what the whole no. point was in the first place. To try and stay alive for as long as we can, right? Out of everyone on this earth, our families were the only ones who took the water crisis seriously. We were the ones who started building. We were mocked and told we were insane. We were the ones who everyone looked down to when the lakes and rivers dried up. Our blueprints were the ones that were stolen as people became desperate. Out of everyone on this earth, we are the ones who deserve to survive. The clouds are brimming the li with liquid life, but are still so evasive. We've been building for a long time, but we're not done yet. We have to go farther. We will climb the clouds. So many notes left behind. So much history. We're making it up to the very top right now, but why? We'll aim out as we keep walking. Look at this. Oh, yes, the skills, man. We're literally carrying on the building trend, then. Look at this. We carried on building, though. This place really is beautiful. Yeah. Even with the dust storms. Stay optimistic, right? It's peaceful in a way. I'm sure it is. I've been working what was on it that all for? My whole life. Never once stopped to appreciate what we spent our lives building. We okay. Looked up to the clouds, hoping we'd someday reach them, so we could prolong our lives. It's not about the food; it's about the water in this world. Now that everyone's gone, I know any attempt I might make at accomplishing that would be futile. It's a beautiful game. It looks awesome. Spending the rest of my life building a tower. Maybe it's time I took a break. Which yo? We're done. It's Look been at a long this. Time, but I think I'm finally done. The final person alive too, and he's done. 
So wait, you don't- No, no, no! I thought I was about to jump, guys. Okay, he sits down. Is that a rain cloud? Would you look at that? Yo, dude, you better open your mouth, you know? Catch as many of those droplets as you can. Look at that. Oh, that was an interesting game. It was a very interesting game. So it kind of built on this worldly premise where all of the water had dried up. Uh, I guess it hadn't been raining for a very long time. People wanted to build to the clouds to try and catch the rain as much as they can. But in the end, after all the building and when one person was left, the rain decided to catch them instead. You see that? Very interesting. All right then guys, well, that was it for this episode of Three Random Games. The last game was very, very peaceful, you know? It was more of a walking simulator, but I can get behind that. I gotta say that first game reminded me exactly why I never want to experience a fridge demon and the second one was a genuinely terrifying horror game with a little bit of comedy mixed in there. So I can appreciate that. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode of Three Random Games though. But for this video, this is where I'm going to leave everything. And I really hope you did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like crate? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here. So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, I hope you did enjoy. And I will, of course, see you on the next one.